Okay, so I took a bus over here to Port Orleans Riverside. I'm gonna grab a boat, I think, over to Disney Springs. Still have plenty of time. It's only about 2.10. And my flight doesn't leave till about 10 o'clock tonight. So, lots of time to run around. All right. Doing some shopping this afternoon. Getting some last minute things. Maybe find a gift or two for Shannon and the girls. And of course, my puppy dog. I like these shirts. I don't do mornings. Me neither. At least not by choice. Star Wars stuff here. Let the Wookiee win. And then here we come to the lobby. It's a seating area. And there is the front desk. There's a boat right there. Let's see if we can catch it. I haven't left yet. But they are leaving now. We just missed the boat. Okay, we are over here at Disney Springs. Took the boat from Riverside. Took a little bit longer than I was expecting. Um, it's now about three o'clock, I think. So, yeah. So I'm gonna, first things first, get some food and then do some shopping here at Disney Springs. Okay, I stopped here at Chef Art Smith's Homecoming, one of the newest restaurants here at Disney Springs for lunch. And I got the barbecue pork plate. We got some barbecue there, some mac and cheese there. I guess this is like a cheddar biscuit thing and some coleslaw. And pairing it with a blue moon. That's pretty dang good. It's hard to go wrong with mac and cheese. me you'll see Chef Art Smith's homecoming. I was a little skeptical going in but uh, I actually ended up really enjoying the meal so I, it's definitely on my list of recommended meals here at Disney Springs. Then again I've never had a truly bad meal here at Disney World. Finally got some food in me. Kind of hadn't been doing a great job of that today but after Yesterday, I kind of, I kind of loaded up on food yesterday. It's the most I've eaten in a long time. So, it took a while for me to get truly hungry today. But boy, when I did, I was hungry. I polished off that barbecue plate from uh, Homecoming. Let's see what else there is around here, see if there's anything new. And we're gonna walk right past Disney Quest without going in again. 
I've never been in there. And at this point, I never will, because it's closing soon, to make way for an NBA experience. But more interesting to me is the Star Wars Galactic Outpost. It's a lot of the same stuff you'll find in every other Star Wars store here, but that doesn't stop me from coming into each new one. Seen that one a few times. You can get this set of six Star Wars ornaments for your holiday trees for only $70. R2D2 purses. I'll tell you, if I carried a purse, it would probably be that one. That's about it. They have the build your own lightsaber station, and I noticed when I was here last month. They now have the deluxe hilts in blue and purple. And green if you want a more light side oriented saver with the cross guard to protect your hands. And of course they have the red one that was made famous by Kylo Red. I also have the Marvel Superhero Headquarters. I don't have too much Marvel stuff here, but here's a store dedicated solely little Black Widow outfit for your little Black Widow. Don't think it'll fit me. And there's a Black Widow t-shirt. A couple Black Widow t-shirts. How about that? And Black Widow, oh this is all Black Widow stuff. Look at all those. Black Widow purse. Let's get dangerous. I am Groot. Oh, excuse me. I am Groot. I am Groot. See the characters in flight balloon up there. Never done that before. Might come over and do it next trip. Seems like it could be fun if you're not scared of heights, which I am not. Here is the fairly recently renovated Planet Hollywood. Now designed with more of a observatory theme. And you can see there, it says observatory. There's R2. And there is the Holy Grail. From Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Of course, it's only a picture. And then here's the gift shop. Seems very much like the gift shop in Hollywood Studios that we were in earlier today. Tim Tracker? So the concept model for the armor on the Batmobile from the Michael Keaton movies. Johnny was. Johnny was what? I don't know what Johnny was. Uh, this is the newest section of Disney Springs. Outside, it's very nice. I mean, I like the architecture and the theming of the area. I'm just not a big fan of the stores. Snow trip to Walt Disney World would be complete without a stop at the World of Disney. One of the largest Disney stores you will ever find. There is something specific here that I'm looking for. Not in this section. The Shannon's girls are just a little too old. Little emoji, Disney emoji plushes. I think this may actually be the room that I want. Let's see. Oh, in fact, that over there is exactly what I've been looking for. But they don't have 
the size I'm looking for. All right, they did not have the lead in the color that I wanted and the size that I need. And unfortunately, there were uh, children that kept stepping in front of me, so I didn't record it, actual looking at it. I could spend hours in here. Ray and her speeder. I don't know how much they want for this. Doesn't say. <laughs> Check out this Pandora perspective art. Of course, as we go this way, you can see it's all an illusion. I think that's gonna about do it for me here in Disney Springs. Uh, I'm kind of tired, probably going to be heading back uh, to the hotel soon and then on my way to the airport. So I'm gonna sign off here at Disney Springs. It's been a fun but short trip and I'll be back in 100 days. Take care, guys.